Good day and welcome once again to D's. Um, today we're going to be expanding special products and this is very similar to what we did last class with expanding binomials except it's two very special cases of binomials. And so here we're investigating the two different types of products that give us a special answer. If we spot the pattern, we can use a shortcut and get the answer. This will save us time as well as make future concepts a little bit easier. So these are the two special cases. It's a case where we're squaring a binomial, and this is the square of a binomial. It's where I have a binomial in brackets, and there's a squared on it. And the other case is when I have two brackets that are almost multiplied by themselves, except that the sign in the bracket is different. Everything else is the same, but the sign is different. And so we call that the product of a sum, sum meaning plus, and difference, difference meaning minus. So, squaring a binomial. When you square something, we, we know what that means. You multiply it by itself. So 5 squared means 5 times 5, and that's exactly the same meaning when you're talking about a binomial. If I have a bracket with a square on it, that means that what I really want to do is multiply those two brackets together. Now, if we do that using um, FOIL or the dis double distributive law that we learned in the last lesson, uh, it's very straightforward. 2 times 2x gives us 4x squared. 2x times 5 gives us plus 10x. Uh, 5 times 2x gives us plus 10x. And 5 times 5 gives us plus 25. And of course, those two middle terms are going to combine, and we get 4x squared plus 20x plus 25. Now notice that when I expanded that out, my two middle terms here were exactly the same. And I wonder if that's a coincidence. I wonder if our two middle terms are going to be the same all the time. So let's have a look. I want you to do these ones as well. You can write them out if you want. Um, uh, I would strongly suggest that you put this on pause and then try them out. I'm going to uh, expand them out right now. So we have x minus 3 times x minus 3. And that is going to equal, and I'm violating math uh, rules of proper form here because I'm going to go all the way across with a bunch of equal signs. That's going to be x squared, then minus 3x, minus 3x uh, plus 9, which of course is going to be x squared minus 6x plus 9. The next one, 2x plus 6 times 2x plus 6. Well, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Then I do 2x times 6 is plus 12x, and 6 times 2x is plus 12x, and then 6 times 6 is plus 36. So when I put that together, I'm going to get 4x squared plus 24x plus 36. Um, so when I have ax plus b, okay, I'm going to do it in the general case this time. That's going to be ax, ax plus b plus b. So ax times ax is going to be a squared x squared, and ax times b is going to be plus abx, and then b times ax is going to be plus abx, and b times b is plus b squared. Uh, and of course, this abx and abx are the same thing, so I get a squared x plus 2a bx plus b squared. And this is looking really interesting now because this gives us a shortcut. If we look at this, a was the number at the beginning of the bracket. So if I want to go straight from this down to here without doing this step in the middle, it looks like all I have to do is square the first number in the bracket. Then I have to multiply the two numbers in the brackets because that's what was in, I've got an A and a B in the bracket. If I multiply those two together and then times them by two because there's two of them and then square the last term. So that gives us our shortcut where we just square the first term. So square it and multiply these two things together and then times by 2. So we multiply them together and then double. And then, of course, the b is just squared as well. So that's squared. Let's see if we can use this shortcut 
uh, and get more comfortable with it. So up here we have 3x squared minus 2. So the shortcut was square the first term and I get 9x squared. Multiply those two together, which gives me negative 6x, and I know their they're two outside and inside terms are going to be the same. So I have two of those, which gives me negative 12x, and then square the last term will be positive 4. Um, do it with this one. Square the first term gives me 25x squared. Multiply those two together gives me 5x, and then I know there's two of them, so two 5x's is 10x. And then 1 times 1 when I square it is just 1. And so lastly, x minus y, I square the first term. Uh, I multiply the 2 together and double them, so that's going to give me negative 2xy. And then I square the last term, plus y squared. Now, the product of a sum and a difference, it's even easier than that. What is meant by the product of the sum and the difference is that the two brackets being multiplied are exactly the same, but um, 1 with one small change, one binomial has a sum and one has a difference. So expand the following. So here we go. I'm just going to expand it with FOIL, double distributive law, however you want to think of it. Uh, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times negative 5 is negative 10x squared. Then 5 times 2x is positive 10x. And positive 5 times negative 5 is minus 25. So when I try to put things together, notice those are going to cancel each other out because they're the same thing, but they have different signs. So that's going to be 4x squared minus 25. And then down for the next one, I'm thinking that they may all cancel each other out, but let's have a look. 4x times 4x is 16x squared. 4x times 1 is 4x. Negative 1 times 4x is negative 4. Oh, they're going to cancel out again. And then negative 1 times negative 1 is minus 1. And lastly, if I do it down here, a times a is a squared. And let's simplify that. 4x squared minus 1. a times a is a squared. Then I get a times negative b is negative ab. Then b times a is positive ab. It doesn't matter which way you write it. And then b times negative b is minus b squared. And now that I've done it in the general case, you can see more of what's happening here. We get a squared minus b squared. So you're always going to have that minus in the middle. Okay. The minus in the middle comes from the fact that when I get this b squared on the end, it's always from multiplying a positive b by a negative b and every time we multiply things that have different signs we get a negative so this is always going to be a negative in the middle here and then the other the two middle terms are going to cancel each other out so why would i bother doing them in the first place and of course we just multiply a by a to get the first term and b by b to get the second term and this thing is actually called a difference of squares so the rule here, when using FOIL, the middle term will always cancel. So we can just ignore the middle terms and only multiply the first and last terms. Notice that the sign in the product will always be minus and the two terms are always perfect squares. That's why the product of a sum and a difference gets a special name. It's called a difference of squares. And so working backwards, hopefully we'd be able to figure that one out. Um, what if I wanted to know what two brackets made this thing up? Well, since the middle term is missing, new middle term, they must have cancelled each other out. And so we're looking for the middle terms to be exactly the same. These are perfect squares, so it must have been a 3x and a 3x that were multiplied to give me this 9x squared. And to get 49 on the end, it must have been a 7 and a 7. And to get the two middle terms to cancel each other out, one had to be a minus 7 and one had to be a plus 7 and not necessarily in that order. And so that gives us our two special products um, and we're done.